Hello and welcome to a brand new series brought to you by Mobile Fire TV. I'm your host, Hardy Pace, and I'll be bringing you updates on the Asian League of Legends scene in this episode, as well as more to come. The biggest news coming out of Korea are the matchups for the OG and Winter 2012-2013 finals, as well as the series to determine the third and fourth place teams. On the 25th of January, KT Rolster B faced off against Azubu Blaze in the best of five series, competing for the third place title. Despite large fan support, Azubu Blaze were no match for KT Rolster B, who left with a 3 0 sweep. Many blame Blaze for stretching themselves too thin by attending the most recent IEM in Poland, while their opponents stayed in Korea and undoubtedly prepared and created strategies specifically for Blaze's playstyle. Regardless, it was a disappointing loss for Blaze and puts a significant amount of pressure on Zubu Frost to perform well in the finals. Both teams have had a great showing throughout the OGN Winter Tournament, with KT Roaster B's 80 carry score having the highest KDA of the entire tournament with 12.8, and their AP player Ryu topping the mid lane standings with a KDA of 5. Azubu Blaze, although with less impressive KDAs overall, have their mid lane player Ambition with an MVP score of 1000 points at 3rd on the standings, as well as Flame at 700 points, sitting at 5th. The finals will be played on the 2nd of February between Azubu Frost and Anajan Sword, competing for the 1st place title and roughly 74,000 US dollars in a best of 5 series. Anajan Sword have really impressed viewers over this tournament with their play, despite their early losses. The team have seemed to evolve far past their nickname of Team Dive, adapting to their opponents in a much more strategic fashion. Having gone 3-0 against MVP White in the quarterfinals and 6-1 against KT Rolser B in the semifinals while still staying true to their aggressive style. With Mac Noon sitting at 1,400 points on the MVP standings in first place and Watch in first for the Jungle KDA standings with 4.8. As well as Kane topping the supports with 5.8, we might see Nash and Sword's first champion finish in an OGM, as well as their team captain taking the tournament's MVP title as the icing on the cake. However, there is no reason to count out Zubu Frost, the champion Summers winners, with their top lane Shy sitting at 4.5 KDA, the highest of all top lanes in the tournament, as well as their much-loved support player Madlife trailing just behind Mac Noon for the title of MVP at 1,200 points. Which should see an incredibly close series, both teams are known to prepare incredibly team-specific strategies, and although Naj and Sword are riding a lot of momentum into the finals, it is an incredibly difficult series to call. A recap video will be released after each respective match on Mobile Fire TV, highlighting some of the best plays of this series, as well as any new compositions, strategies, item builds, and counters the teams will bring out, so if you miss the matches, don't worry, we will have you covered. I'd like to thank Mobile Fire TV sponsors, Origin and Razor, and if you'd like to keep up to date on all our content, subscribe to the Mobile Fire TV YouTube channel and visit us at mobilefire.com, as well as check out all our written tournament recaps in our esports section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Mobile Fire TV is sponsored by Origin and Razor.